Hi, YouTube. It's me again. <laughs> I'm playing, um, dang it, my daytime. I love this game so much. I'm playing some, I'm starting out with Survivor, but I will get that itch to play Killer soon. But I've been liking Survivor lately. I've been liking Survivor in like my private time. I don't know. It's just been like kind of chill. But hi again. Um, okay, so let's queue up. I actually don't need deja vu anymore. I like, um, there's another eye one that I've been liking. It reveals the, the it reveals the killer's aura when they hook somebody. Don't forget to log in daily for the event, everyone. If you can't play, you get tons of rewards like shards. Yeah, that one. I like this one. I like this one. Fog wise. Hitting a great skill check while repairing reveals the. Yeah, yeah, I like. That's my setup. Tool repair. And I like another one. Like, I, I like to stack my tool repair speed. And I'll just bring oak because that's what everyone else brings. Okay. Yeah, I like playing music in between the lobbies just because it's like foreboding ambient sounds in the game. Breakdown? Let's look at that. It doesn't work, it doesn't work, it doesn't work, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Breakdown. Anytime you're removed from a hook, the hook breaks and the killer's aura is shown to you. Oh. That would be good for um, David King. Like a more aggressive play style. I've been trying to focus on like repairing. Um, I don't know. I don't think we get anything in here. I just need 150, but I only really started playing yesterday and it kind of confused me, but here we are. I'm talking about the event. I'm like, how do I get more points? I need 150 for my sword. <laughs> and I thought about doing it today, but I decided not to. Um, like on stream, because I like having, I like being able to invite more people. Your nickname in high school was foreboding ambient sounds. <laughs> Get into it. <laughs> so Pixie is killer. So this will be fun. This will be fun. This will be fun. This will be fun. And y'all will actually be able to see my cooldowns now. Have you ever heard of Dying Light? I've heard of that name. What is it? Is it... Is it like that Until Dawn game? Oh, you have to do the challenge. Oh, right. The challenge. Okay. I discovered that last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But by the time I was done playing, I was like, oh, that's what I was supposed to do. I think I've ever been here. That's interesting. I've never been to this map. Of course, I don't have deja vu for this map, too. Oh, it's kind of pretty, though. go let's go let's go let's go I learned 
I learned with um I learned with his move, if you hold it for longer, you actually get a better boost. Okay, sorry, I was really locked in there. It's a pixie game, so you gotta really bring it. The thing is, is Pixie's the one to beat, you know? The Capricorn in me is like, well, Pixie's the best player I know. It's like a 12 second max, which y'all know I can't count that long under all this stress. So I just do it till it feels like 12 seconds. Now why would you bring her here? The unknown sable map? Just so you know, if you sabotage a hook, it will alert the killer to your location. Oh, okay. See if it respawns, it does. I can't sabotage it either. I'm just gonna hope that Pixie's going after somebody else. Yeah. Pixie is going after somebody else. I'm doing really good today. If I can get a grate, then I can just ensure where Pixie is. I need to get a grate on the next skill shot. Because Pixie, when she plays Hag, is like all over the place. Like, I can never tell. That's the first pixie chase I think I've ever survived. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it and we're gonna save everybody. Come on. Come on. Finish it. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Boy Band member from 2001 from Halloween. I've been playing with um, different things. I don't have any pomades or anything, but my hair is long enough that I can do kind of like the Wolverine spikes, which I honestly think is kind of cute on a guy. Um, I think I can do like Wolverine spikes. I was honestly thinking of being pink Wolverine for Halloween this year, but I haven't even gone shopping for Halloween clothes. Um, spike hair is more normalized my hair holds like that kind of volume really well at this length um my hair curls most at the ends so like when it's shorter it kind of just curls immediately so like it's really easy for me to make my hair like poofy and spiky i just need to add like things that will help me to um 
keep like shape and curl instead of just making it like one big puff ball. Those things, man. Sable, who's playing Sable? Moth, can you heal me, please? I'm heal Moth first. Moth has two, girl. Spike here is cool to you. I like it too. I've never been a different. I've. I even think like the faux hawk should have come back. All this white 2K resurgence. I feel like the faux hawk should have came back. I always thought the faux hawk was cute. I had a faux hawk when I was in like middle school. I ate that up too. I ate that up too. I'm so happy to be in my short hair era. Like it's so fun. Like it's been so long. Oh, no. Hello. I do think that some of the K-pop boys were giving boy band again, like very in sync, like clean boy band, um, and that's been fun to see. I think I'm gonna make it to at least hatch. Like I'm looking at my my sisters over here and I don't know, but I think that I'm gonna make it. Dylan, I think that was your first Pixie game. Pixie is, I'm telling you, Pixie is not one to be played with, girl. Pixie will find you. Pixie has eyes in the back of her head, especially when she's playing hag. Like, look, I'm just watching it from afar. The Chisel, hi, welcome. So glad you could finally catch a live. We're playing Dead by Daylight. Um, the girls are gagging each other. Oh, everybody's dead. I gotta find the hatch, right? Everybody says it's an angelic sound, so I'm gonna really try to hear it this time. <laughs> Should I do that instead? She closed the hatch. I didn't mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. Dang it. I didn't know that that happens with um, hatches. Dang, I did good though. That's my best pixie game. That's my best one. That's my best pixie game. Okay, let's rotate. How many people do we have? Okay, we're gonna have some repeats. Okay, let me play killer this time. It's Fig, Jara, Moth, and Zolil. Can you be killer? Yeah, you can be killer. That's fine. This is actually quicker for me to just leave the party. <laughs> um, Mon. Fig. Okay, Dylan, that's, that sounds good. You'll probably be next, so I'll, I'll have you be killer next. Moth as well. Okay, it's it's killer party. It's killer party. Killer party. I shouldn't say that out loud. Sometimes like with like the advent of like AI and like detection software and stuff, I like really get scared about like my words being like 
taken the wrong way by robots. Like, when I say that, like, I obviously mean, like, killer from Dead by Daylight. <laughs> okay, damsel. Killer party! Y'all. Y'all. Y'all, I got so much good progress this morning on the girly pop lock. I um, I had to get everything set up so like it would visually look nice. Like um, I had to get mix it up and stuff aligned with it. I had to make like a new overlay to make sure the emotes and stuff look good. But I finally figured out the last piece of the puzzle, like my brain. Like you know when you're like in a brainstorming period and you're like you're trying to figure out you got you got something, but you're like how do I make it work? How do I make it tangible? I finally figured it out. I finally figured it out this morning. I figured it out this morning. I told my boyfriend about it. He's like, I, my boyfriend, I think the most healthy way to be a creative person who's also a working creative is to have someone who isn't like obsessed with your work. My boyfriend thinks that what I do is really impressive and really cool, but he gives me the space to like be myself with it. He's not like obsessed with it. <laughs> um, so when I tell him about my big ideas, he's like, okay, okay, that sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> is my boyfriend still streaming no he's not he's not he did like it but i think um he noticed how much like we're streaming to really build up a stream you've got to do marketing and the reason i think why my stream started off so strong was because i had inadvertently did a lot of marketing on tiktok to like encourage people to come over and even then like what we've got like almost around 70 people here compared to the almost 90,000 followers I have on TikTok, the transfer rate can be quite low. <laughs> but I mean, that's kind of the business of it all. Um, he doesn't like the marketing. He, he likes the community. He likes the playing the games, all that stuff. But he was like, ah, I'm not really into marketing. But he's also, um, he's also got like other things that he wants to do. He just wanted to try it out. It does require a little bit of grinding. He's like, well, I just want to play games, so. And he did for a minute. But then after a while, he was like, I don't want to get dolled up and, like, turn on my camera. <laughs> you know? I like it. <laughs> it is foul. It is, it is foul, the chisel. I have to agree. The way that I see it is, like, I just try to always keep my brain open for, like, the possibility of something being transferable. Um... That's why I'm always so adamant about like keeping things like cohesive on my stream because my stream has showed me that like if I make it look nice, like people watch the VODs, you know, that's something I didn't even think about. So that's kind of like what I focus on is like just making sure like what is working is as quality as possible because it's kind of it, it can be exhausting. And like, hey, everybody, follow me on the fawn.card. Like, oh my god. <laughs> she gotta do it. Uh oh, is this the dredge? I've never played against a dredge. Okay. <gasps> I know they get like a shadow field. Like, we're in the shadows. I think we gotta go. Uh oh. I'm really messing up because I'm freaking out, Laura. I'm sorry. Dude, these skill checks. Dang it. 
The dredge kind of freaked me out. I was like trying to learn what he was doing. I messed up all those skill checks. If I made every single one of those skill checks, we would have gotten that generator. Hi, Liz. Yes, we are. I mean business. I'm getting this thing. I'm getting it. I don't care how many nightmare domains you create, Dredge. Right. Now, can you heal me, sister? No, c come heal me. Please, just heal me, please. Please heal me. Wish I could have been there for the past few streams, but I haven't caught up on the Natlin story yet. It's okay, Liz. The VODs are still there. Oh. Her. Who was that? Ada Wong, that was Fig. Every time I see Ada Wong, dude, even in like uh, public matches, like last night I was playing last night, in public matches, I'm like, if I see an Ada Wong, I automatically assume it's Pixie. about y'all but I, th I think I'm getting good at Survivor. I really do. I think Vittorio is really great because it encourages me to do skill checks and it really keeps me locked in to learn like the ins and outs of like my, my openings. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Do you think he saw me? Hi, Hammy. Happy Wednesday to you, too. See that palette. Oh, thank you. How much longer are we going? Um, at least an hour more. I do have to end it early because I I have uh, just to be real with y'all. I had somebody. I don't know if they're in this chat. I don't think they are. They watch just the YouTube. Somebody commissioned me um, to literally make them like a custom video, and I told them how much that would require, um, but it's for someone's birthday. Um, I have to get on that. When it comes to commission-based work, I'm kind of 
That's when the Capricorn jumps out, and I like to be pretty fast with my turnaround. I'm a survivor! I'm a survivor! Fun on cameo. I actually, I, I thought after doing that, I was like, I could do a cameo. But I don't know if I would want to. Because I, I, I always get scared. Like, when somebody's like, do a cameo. I'm like, I'm not doing one dollar cameos, baby. And then I just get scared of people being like, that's too much. And I'm like, well, let's just not cross that bridge then. <laughs> For a game of music, pee pee. Well, if it's something like that, I can do it for a dollar. Play Whiplash, play Esther at the end of the stream. If I remember. If I get one more down, I'm dead. Is this one done? It sounds done, but I can't see it. Hi, Juno. Welcome to the chat. Thank you so much. So glad you're liking the content. We're playing Dead by Daylight, Debbie in the Daylight, and I'm playing Survivor, so I keep getting caught in these skill checks. Give me a great skill check, girl. I haven't gotten one in like five minutes. There we go. Ah, <sighs> sigh of relief. Now I know where the killer is. He's pink, my favorite color. Is Fig dead? Quick skill checks really get me. He's like somewhere around here. Where is the dredge? Girl, I'm freaking out. It's like getting in my head. Why do they get to be so fast? Oh, here we go again. Not again, not again, not again. Stuff, but I'm pretty good at skill checks, so I hit every one of them, but my health ran out. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, the dredge is pretty like sinister in its like audio design. It's pretty creepy. Oh, time to find the hatch. I got Turn off the nightmare. You're just mad that you have a baby doll on your head from Etsy. It's not even an authentic baby doll. You got scammed on Etsy and you're mad about it. <laughs> GG. <laughs> Who's the next one? I think Dylan asked to be a killer. And Moth did too. But we're going to do Dylan first. Cause I think Dylan asked first. So we have Pixie Dylan... Liz and Fig. Okay. Who was the killer in that one? That one was really good. Apparently May from Say My Name plays this game. A lot on her Switch. I think that's so cute. You were Jara? That was really good. Oh, Pixie's in a match. Okay. I want to move Pixie down. So that means Jara, you're up. Wait, is Jara in a match? Did Jara log? Let's make sure everybody else is in. Dylan, Liz, we have to. No, no, no. Do you want to keep playing, Jara? I don't want to force you to log back in. I think we're getting the invite bug. I mean, bug. So I'm gonna reset. Sorry, let me reset. You can play one more? Okay, cool. Well, thank you. We're gonna play for about 55 more minutes, everybody. Just so everybody can have a time frame. Mm. Y'all, I've been. I, I don't think I've been sleeping lately. I've been so tired. It's like whatever. Like I'll I'll live, you know. But Do you have sleep apnea? I think I need to do a sleep study. Yeah, you do have to sleep overnight and be viewed. Yeah. 
That part doesn't bother me. It's the uh, lack of health insurance. <laughs> Moth, are you not able to get in? I'll be getting in bed and I'll be playing Fawn and I'll be Fawn playing CapCut Pro on Discord. I'm like, girl, lol, not me clocking out while you clock in. <laughs> Big Dylan and Jara. I don't know where Moth went. Oh, Moth isn't up. It's Jara, Fig, Liz, and Dylan. I'm sorry, it's Liz. Moth is the next killer. That's what it is. Sorry, Moth. Thank you for um thank you for being ahead of me. <laughs> I just got the Q mixed up. Um, some sleep studies are in patient, but more often than not, I think they send you home with the equipment these days. Oh, really? Hmm. I think I'm one of those people that like sleeps, but like doesn't at the same time. Like I just move and snore and like toss and turn. So I'm just like not actually resting. Okay, damsel, be safe. I fall asleep really fast. That's the thing. My boyfriend takes forever to sleep, too. Oh, you're playing The Plague? Oh, gosh. ENT this week, and they stuck a wire up your nose? Oh, my gosh. Your boyfriend can fall asleep mid-sentence sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. The, wor the thing about Deja Vu that's interesting is like Deja Vu was really useful for me as like a new player But I honestly don't think that I've really gotten good map sense until I took it off Like now I'm really able to like track where I am and like try to figure out how much pressure I want to apply to like Each area, you know, whereas with Deja Vu I was kind of just running around like Beyonce in the bridge of personal Deja Vu Baby, I can't go anywhere. I can't see Beyonce. You, you all can tell. Chase music is really scary. I've never played against Freddy. How do you get out of his lullaby? Because he can only, like, do stuff in his lullaby, right?
The thing that's messed up my sleep these past few weeks is I woke up at 4 a.m. last Wednesday to finish a video, which is probably why I'm taking a break this week because that was crazy. Waking up at 4 a.m. when I'm my own boss, like, girl, who's forcing me to do that? I could have just put, pushed it back a day. But I woke up at 4 a.m. and ever since then, my sleep has just been awful. Oh, do they look like they're running while they're sleeping? I struggle to fall asleep at home, but if I'm in my car or plane, I fall asleep sitting straight up. That's something that's also, a, like, the psychology of, like, going to bed is, like, such a habitual thing that your body will, like, automatically do things. Um, so, like, for me, I'm kind of the same way. Like, if I'm, like, on a train or in a car or on a plane, I will fall asleep. Like, it puts me to sleep. Um, you have to go to a clock or have another player wake you up. Okay. Dylan? This is crazy. Why is Freddy so fast? petrified of flying i don't mind flying honestly these days the economy is getting so tight that like you're really seeing it in like our workforce and like or like just in our our, our products not it's getting tight it's getting cheaper and they're like pushing it further and further but industries that require like human empathy um which is an emotional labor that a lot of people don't really have to be like doing 40 hours a week um you're seeing it in the plane industry like I am a military kid. I've always loved flying, but in the past like five years, I'm kind of terrified of airports because it's like the people running the businesses don't care about your safety because they just want a quick buck. And the people who are working in those situations are normally only there because circumstance requires that they pay rent. And it's like, it's just a really unsafe feeling being on a plane lately. Like obviously not everybody's like that, but the world is just so crazy right now that being at the will and service of a team of people who I know have like a mortgage and student loans up in a giant plane, <laughs> it's not my tea. It's not my tea anymore. It's not my tea anymore. Um, dang. Dylan's good at this. Yeah, the planes falling apart is also a big thing. I think that's what it is. Like, at first I was like, okay, well, the planes are, like, statistically safe. But then we start seeing them falling apart, and I'm like, oh. So they really are just throwing tin cans up in the air with underpaid workers. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. I know you're a night player, and one of your big complaints about him is the lack of skin, so I was wondering what you thought of the Knight's Rift skin. Does he have one? He just has a candy sword. I do like the candy sword. I want to get the candy sword. Y'all know he's coming for us, right? Girl. That was a mess, honey. The pendulum always swings. We, humanity has the will and power to find a way through it. 
we live like our generations really do we have so much information before us that that's kind of like our sort of new form of nihilism i think in existence um but i think as long as you hope that something is better it will get better i know that sounds so woo woo but like I do believe that humanity is like one of our talents that we don't really notice or give ourselves credit for. It's like our collective unconscious and the power of that. Like we really do like manifest things through our work and stuff by just keeping the conversation going. Like I always think about sci-fi. Like 30 years ago, we used to like dream about like having touch screens and stuff like that. And now it's like an everyday thing. Like we used to think that was impossible. But now it's an everyday thing. Like the Jetsons used to be like, oh my goodness, flying cars. We literally have drones. Like we have corporations right now that are trying to like lobby cities to have drones in the sky that are like Amazon warehouses. Like we always figure out something. And like the, the general consensus I feel like is that people are hoping that we change things, which I think will eventually facilitate that change. Anyway, let's get this generator. <laughs> I think they should turn health counts to your gotcha system. It is, though, Tropic Soul. It is. It's one of those gotchas. It's like a Korean MMO gotcha system where you can actually get a gotcha that will make your account worse. <laughs> like, that's true gotcha, Tropic Soul. Dude! No, because Dylan is like so serious about this like I can't like I'm really out here fighting for my life I've never played against Dylan before and this is just insane like I'm really at my wits end like is there a pallet anywhere oh my Hi, Broom. There was a study that when organized a large amount of people to just meditate on one issue and it's somehow statistically proven to happen. It's the thing about manifestation, I think a lot of people clock out of like manifestation talk and I totally get it because I clock out of people who lean in this way too. It's not like magic. What you're doing is you're showing up every day for something that you're reminding yourself of. Like we live in such a distracted time for real. Like, um, like clear net internet, which is just social media literally runs on attention. Like everything is about attention. So we live in such a distracted time that it's no wonder that one of the forms of entertainment that we have is manifestation. Like it's just like an answer to that demand, right? It's just reminding yourself every day what you want. Okay, I, I want, um, I want, what do I want? I don't know, I don't know what I want. I want food. See, and every day I, I eat food. <laughs> it's great, great, um, great way to explain it. Okay, um, oh wait, I didn't mean to leave. I'm sorry y'all, I did not mean to leave. I was in, um, can I spectate? I can't. Y'all gotta tell me who wins. We can just chat while we wait. I will rotate it though, so people who are up next will know. Welcome back, damsel. We got Pixie, Moth, Zolil, and Dylan. If Fawnin is, I don't, I don't, I don't want a cult. That sounds like too much work. 
I like true crime and I've listened to many people recount the tales of famous cults and it just sounds like too much work. Like, you have to really, really have, like, an empty pit of an ego to be a cult leader. Because, like, what do, what people just, like, sit around and talk about you all day. And they're, like, giving you, like, it's like, leave me alone. <laughs> if possible, can I play killer when you haven't gotten to play killer already? Next is Moth. But, um... We got like 40 more minutes, so I don't know. I don't know if I can promise that. But if we get the next game that you're in, which will be not including this one, two games from now, you can be killer. Yeah, because I think after Moth, we don't have anybody. Manifestation sounds weird to me because aren't you just running towards your objective? You'll get to it somehow if you're going for it. Yeah, the ch that's exactly what it is, Chisel. That's how I see it. Like, you're just... But the thing is some people need that like some people need the reminder to remind themselves some people really do just like be floating through life um and that's fine like everyone's entitled to living their life however they see fit like that's literally the beauty of being a human being is our consciousness lets us do that but um if you have goals and stuff making it like a fun fantasy game kind of helps sometimes i'm manifesting wealth well if you say it every day then you're gonna like always be focused on like making more money Jara won. Congratulations to Jara, the survivor, the, the final girl. Sorry, y'all. I normally like to spectate because I like to see the girl slay, but I was kind of on autopilot. Okay, so Pixie, Moth, Zaleel, and Dylan. Moth is the killer, so I'm going to invite Moth first. Deadlock, which is one of the best gen blocking person in the game, is in Shrine right now. I don't know what that means! Oh, but can't you just get these naturally? What is this? Does it skip the grind? You can get the perks without having to buy the characters. Okay, I see. That's pretty cool. Do you ever play the hag? No, Pixie does though. I play the knight and I play, um... I've been liking Tombstone Myers, but apparently nobody else does. So they're nerfing it. But yeah. So Lil, you'll probably be able to play killer next game because some people have left. You might get rotated in. Oh, the plague. If your infection meter fails, you will be afflicted with a broken status effect. Okay. Let's fix some generators. Hi everybody, welcome to my generator fixing YouTube tutorial. So fixing generators is actually pretty straightforward. The The most difficult part that people run into that I notice most beginner uh, generator fixers is that there's actually a monster that is out for blood that's been called by an entity from another dimension to harvest your soul. Um, that's probably the most difficult part about it, but I'm gonna show y'all um, a really quick and easy way to get your generator done, even with all that in mind. So actually, this specific, um, Harbinger of Death actually will puke all over you from really, really far away, 
and it makes you sick. So basically what you want to do is not get sick. And if they see you, just run. Oh God. As you can see, if you're really, really attractive and pretty like me, they get obsessed with you. Um, and then you have to like run away for a long time, but it's fine. It just means that you're really pretty. And then that, um, and that your your friends can actually fix generators for you. So that's another thing about fixing generators is that like sometimes it's useful to to just distract them with your prettiness. Girl, where is the pool of devotion? The game told me to look for a pool of devotion. I don't see one. Oh. This one doesn't work. Oh, there's one. This is literally what it's like going to a gay club. Desperately looking for any water that's just water, like... Coughing like being poor. <laughs> like do y'all drink water in this place that's why people that's why that's why the queers like dvd so much it's like going out except you can do it in your pajamas the way my camera is locked in on tracking that They're all across the map, dude. Totally not tequila, just water. <laughs> right, like, girl, it's so real. The thing is, though, y'all, I'm such an introvert that I don't go out to clubs often. I've only ever gone to, like, queer spaces when I go out, right? So when I see the joke of, like, bartenders at the gay bar like pouring in more I was like that's not how you're supposed to that's not how it's supposed to look like <laughs> because most of the time they're just like trying so hard to just like get you through say I want a vodka crayon please they're just like just put it in there so they stop coming up here and that is so that is so real I'm so annoying when I go out though, because I'm always telling my friends like, I don't care, just give me something. I'm gonna get what you get. I really am not picky though. It's the Korean in me. I just want, I just want the alcohol, honestly. <laughs> if I'm going out. See, the last time I played the plague, I really got got, but I've been practicing. And by practicing, I mean I've played one hour of Survivor since then. Here she comes. Can I get an espresso martini? <laughs> Can I get an espresso martini? 
You have to whisper it too. It is like in the in the crowded bar as like Charlie XCX is bumping on her third remix in the playlist. Um, Broom, it's really not all it's cracked up to be. I had a, um, this is going to sound really bad, but I had a as recent drinking phase. <laughs> um, the thing with, like, substances is, like, sugar, alcohol, like, I don't do all of them at once, right? So I had, like, tried, like, I had, like, a pack of, like, IPAs in my fridge, right? And I was drinking them. I was like, I don't think I like this right now. It just makes me sleepy, and I can't get up and, like, work out the next day. Like, I'm not the type of person that can work out hungover. Oh my god. Crossing the legs of the bar still followed by a petite wink. <laughs> oh yeah, pickle, don't get me don't get me don't get me twisted. I'm the same way. I'm the same way. One side one side is Korean, but don't don't make I don't want y'all thinking that my dad's side, they drink like Koreans. <laughs> um yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but it's just like, yeah, it's just, it's really not all it's cracked up to be. Um, it, it's fun, but it's like, it's gotta be social. Like, I like doing it when I'm out now. And that used to not be the case in all honesty. Um, Cause when I'm out, it's like celebratory. Like we're gonna go out to eat, I'm with people. Like we're having fun, I'm dressed up. It's like, it's, it's an adventure. And also, if I don't have, like, stimulation, I just want to go to bed. My body metabolizes alcohol so quick that I'm just, like, if I'm at home drinking a beer, I'm going to bed in 30 minutes. But if I'm out, it's like, yeah, we're in euphoria, you know? <laughs> Toby, yes, I do play DVD now. The girls finally got me into it. You might have been playing better. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think you were playing better. Take it from me. I've had many a night being off the wine playing Final Fantasy XIV and I was not playing better. I was having fun, but I don't think anybody else was having fun, unless they were also drinking with me. <laughs> Girl, I'm still sick. <laughs> Her swatting that thing at me. That's very real, gamer. My 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 like the the systems in my body that process anything are really like so fragile now, which is nice, but it's also kind of boring sometimes because sometimes I do want to like pig out and like have a beer with like fast food. But I can't. I gotta pick one or the other, and I can only pick one or the other every two weeks. Otherwise, I'm gonna be sick for like three weeks. Sometimes you can sneak away and they can't find you. Coughing up a storm. <laughs> Girl. it out. Uh, 
Yeah, Liz. I mean, like, wine sometimes doesn't get me. Um, but when it when wine does get you, girl, that's the worst. Anything sugary, like, it ain't the moment. The white part actually doesn't make a difference, I don't think, for the Wiggles. Hi, Orlock. You made it just in time. We're playing for about 30 more minutes, but she'll definitely be in the next game because the queue isn't that big today. And I have to remember that Zo not yeah, Zoleal is... Um, I got to make sure that we get a killer Zoleal game in. The sickness is so confusing because it makes me think that I'm still injured. So we got two more to do. Dang it. Over here. <laughs> Let's see if there's anything over here. Playing Mario Party alone is kind of a vibe. The online mode is really fun, Tropics. Well, I like it. But I mean, y'all know me by now. I'm such a loner. Just give me online mode with no chat, and I'm literally so happy. <laughs> Sick again? Oh my god. Meal filtered water. Yeah, these are all uh, meal spa, mini, mini meal spas. The deaths are coming. It rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. I gotta save somebody. Can I not see any of my... Oh god. Where's Dylan? Dylan? Oh my gosh. That ranged is nasty, man. Happy birthday again, Pommy. Yum. Oh, cleansing gives. Oh, okay. The more you know. Okay, so next up we have Fig, Damsel, Orlock, and Pixie. Let me um let me put Zoleal in, because Pixie was in the last game and Zoleal wants to be killer. So let's do that instead. Sorry, Pixie. <laughs> I just want to make sure Zoleal gets a chance.
damsel. Is that everybody? Warlock. Now, Warlock, do you have a different name? Who won the first game? I don't know. I haven't been keeping track. Bye, Dylan. Thank you so much for hanging out. Hope you rest well. Oh, it's charging? Okay. No problemo. Stay broken the entire game or cleanse she's ability to damage you from them. <laughs> it does go kind of far, but Vaughn, doesn't your character kind of give Lieutenant Surge? Oh, Lieutenant Surge would definitely wear something like this. Um I wish I do want something a little bit more campy for Vittorio, but the skins are kind of expensive low-key. Um I think I've been saving. Yeah, they're so expensive. I'm like, girl, what? Like, obviously the shirtless ones are fun, right? But I don't know if I want that for him. That one's cool. I like that one. The Christmas one is cute. I like that one, too. There's a rift one now? I guess I can't see right now. The first confirmed gay Pokemon universe, Lieutenant Surge. The funny thing is, is like, they, they captured, it's like 90s, right? So they captured him to be like this sort of American transplant working with the military station in Japan. That's what they captured him as. But as masculinity has moved on 30 years later, he now literally looks like and acts like a circuit gay. <laughs> Isn't it funny how that works? <laughs> you can see it at the bottom, same with my Is it this one? got the backpack too. It's like the Christmas one but purple. I like that one with the little ice chain. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Where's night? Yeah, I don't... That's fine, I guess. Oh, that's cute. I like that now. I like that now. I want the candy sword though. This one. What would that look like? Her! Love it. Sorry, y'all. The artist one? Pickled! Thank you! Thank you for gifting the subs, Pickled! Whee! Rift review at the end of the stream. Shout out to Pickled. Thank you so much, Pickled. Everybody who who gifts and donates, I really appreciate it. Um, somebody donated. Here, I'll show y'all. Somebody donated. Um, this, I think I might, for my next TikTok, I'm going to wear it. 
Maybe for my next video I'll wear- No, 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 my next video is going to be this look, because I haven't done a video with this look yet. But some- Obviously they're on my headphones, but these match my hair so well. Um, gosh, I really want to show you all my idea now. What's this? What's around my head? Mind Twisting by Mio. Thank you, Moth! Is it Singularity? My bunny hair wig is the same color and so are my bunny ears. But that's the thing, Travis. Well, that's exactly what I was going to show y'all. Well, talk about. It's like obviously not the same tone and color perfectly, but on camera, it kind of picks up similar. It's unknown. Oh, okay. So I was like, I could definitely do like a sort of bunny ear, um, earmuff illusion, but I could also do the, um, the wig as well. I feel like the killers are faster today. I don't know what it is. Exactly. Leave me alone. I definitely have a Lopany look in my future. A Lopany look is definitely in my future. Um, I gotta do more squats. I gotta do way more squats. Like, I have a long way to go to get the body I need for a Lopany cosplay. For what I would want, you know? For what I would want. For my standards, I, I got a long way to go before I can do a, a proper Lopany cosplay. I need to go study. Okay, Chisel. I hope you learn a lot. Who's this diva? The unknown? She's a diva, all right. Nah, nah, nah. Diva is the female version of a hustler. Of a hustler. Of a, of a hustler. Diva is the female version of a hustler, of a hustler, of a, of a hustler. Stop the track, let me state facts. I told you give me a minute and I'll be right back. Y'all, I've been trying to learn the crazy choreography from La Seraphim. That is very deceptively hard. I've learned up to um, Pikachu. <laughs> Thank you guys for the hype train. <laughs> the way she'd be swinging that hammer girl.
the unknown is like really scary, but the more you play it, especially with this skin, it's very funny. I've been trying to learn the choreo because I need to, I've been needing to do more cardio. Um, but it's getting darker outside, so it's kind of hard to go on a run um, in the afternoon or evening. So I'm like, well, I have to do some dance. But I get bored of stuff that I know, so I always try to like learn something new. It's fun though, because when you, especially La Seraphim choreography, if you like to learn dances, and like you really like that, like regardless of how you look, if you learn it and do it back to back, it's really great cardio. Like, I would always say that anytime somebody feels the urge to like comment on somebody's work ethic in the K-pop music industry, learn the choreo of the song that they're currently promoting and do it five times back to back and then tell me how bad of a dancer they are. Any of them, any of them, any of them. Yeah, I mean, like, honestly, even, like, a TikTok dance, like, I will, I have, like, a playlist um, of choreography that I know, and I just do it. And, yeah, it's kind of silly. And, yes, am I a 30-year-old adult? Yes. But it literally keeps me healthy, and it's, like, mentally and physically really good for me. So that's what I say. If I was a normal person, I would go run, but I'm not a normal person. So this is what it is. <laughs> 30 year old diva. Thank you. I think you should try out Dracula. I really think it's a killer you would enjoy. Really? I've been thinking of trying out Ghostface, but apparently they're nerfing Ghostface too. I'm so sorry, Ada Wong. I was looking at chat. Whiplash. Espa choreography is actually pretty, um, well, you know what I would say? Don't learn it from t front to back. Learn the part that you really like, right? For me, I, I learn the parts that I really like, and then I'm like, well, I want to know the full performance, <laughs> which is so unnecessary. But Espa is like, um, pretty intermediate. They, um, they're not the hardest dancers, but their combinations can get a little bit tricky. Like, I think the trickiest one that I've ever tried to learn by Espa is, um... I, I got better, th better things. Better things to do with my time. That one's a little bit tricky. Super Shy. Oh, dude, Super Shy really, really takes me out. Um, that one took me so long to learn. And it's, I am like out of breath. Like when just doing it one time, full on 100%, I am out of breath. Like learning New Jeans choreography gives me such an appreciation for them. Like I don't like every New Jeans song, but the fact that they do that 40 hours a week, I'm like, it's no wonder, it's no wonder y'all walk like y'all walk because y'all, I would be confident in myself if I did that all the time. New Jeans legitimately does like acrobatic performances sometimes. I'm really greedy. 
I really need to stop being so greedy. I know that they're coming for me, and I still will sit there. Dracula, there's many different forms. So basically, it's three killers in one. Oh, that's campy. Also try to learn choreography because I don't have a mirror at home to dance in front of so I literally have to learn it without a mirror and um, just moving really fast for 30 minutes is what you're supposed to do for cardio that literally just breaking a sweat but for me I'm like well now I want to make sure I look good doing it so after I learn the choreography I will sit in front of my phone and I will do it over and over until I like how it looks and then I'm happy with it but the thing is, is like when I give myself little tasks like that, like I want to learn to dance, I want to make sure it looks cool, I want to feel confident in it. Those tasks along the way require so much like physical effort that it becomes cardio. <laughs> like I have to give myself little games or else I won't work out. That's the gamer in me. Help, help. And she didn't even notice. She didn't even notice I was there. Wait, what were we working on? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're right, Sarmi. You're right. I've seen the stuff that they eat. Like, K-pop bottles, most of the time, they are eating in a calorie deficit. Like, oh, I'm sorry, damsel. So here's talking about K-pop, girl. Um, like, I saw a plate of their food once when they were doing a music video shoot, and they were like, the plate was like half full. And I'm like, I know I'm American, but girl. Let's try this one. Gosh. We are no progress on these last two, man. Go. Oh, okay. Okay. I was trying to go behind you. <laughs> Creepy. What? What was that? Oh my god. Y'all please get this generator. She won't leave me alone. She thinks that I have the song for the Korean cheerleaders. I don't. Yeah, Starmy, I agree, I agree. <laughs> I 
one of my things this year, because, I mean, I'm a theater kid, and I also have watched K-pop so long, so, like, diet culture is something that I have to, like, fight so often, like, as an adult. Like, it gets to a point as an adult where you're like, girl, this is ridiculous. I, like, I've been reminding myself, and it's actually been really working. I remind myself that, like, what I find, like, handsome in men is, like, guys who look like well fed like i've never understood like the whole like low body fat kind of moment like that isn't i don't think i think only like bodybuilders find that like attractive so i tell myself that anytime like i'm feeling the diet culture worm the boar worm from diet culture gets to my brain i'm like well i don't even i don't even find that attractive so like what am i sitting here trying to count calories over you know <laughs> Well, that's good, Sarmi. I feel like all the girls are getting really beat up. Oh, we need to save Damsel, because that's Damsel's last... Damsel? No, if I can find a pallet, I can save Damsel. Oh, I'm the last one. Orlock, no. We're probably going to get one more game in, though. So, if you're not in the, the... I think the next game will be the last one. Let me go, you animal. Let me go, please. Let me go. I can't go like this, no. I have a cat at a home. What are they going to think if I don't show him? Let me go. Now that's how you play a farm. What is the unknown story? It is a creepy killer. Yeah, this I think the next one's the last game. Let me look at the queue. Because we had to make sure Zoleo got a killer game in. Um, but Orlock, how about this? You can do the next killer run. How about that? I'll rotate it, and then I'll let you be killer. So I'm going to take... I'm going to take Moth out, I think. Orlock, Fig. No, I'm going to take Fig out, because Fig was in the last game. But Orlock didn't get to play two games. Um, so it's Orlock, Pixie, Moth, and Liz. Um, with Orlock being the killer. Sorry, I normally don't like to manipulate the, uh, the queue, but I know that we had a little bit less time today, so... Well, if Pixie's in a match, then I will put Damsel in, because Damsel, Damsel just joined, too. Pixie said, girl, I got events to do, events to grind. Bye, Fig. Good night, Ireland. Thank you so much for hanging out. But yeah, this was what I had as an idea. I'm going to go ahead and ready up, but Orlock is the killer. Where is it at? I was messing with it before stream. Yeah, so look. I think it looks, it kind of blends a little bit. I mean, there's like, what? There's like three different tones. I actually know I'm looking at it on camera. It doesn't blend. It's enough. It's enough. Maybe in post I can like edit the colors. But that's the idea. Without the headset, obviously. Like that. Two 
two divas than me and Danzel. <laughs> Four ears. Well, the way that I see it is when my ears are covered, they technically aren't ears. So. I was in a meeting once for Gamer Girls, and I had a bear beret that had ears on it, like bear ears on it, and they were like, so you have four ears. I was like, no, it's not four ears. If my ears are covered, if you don't see my ears, they aren't there. That's how I keep the aesthetic cohesive. I'm like a Genshin character. Like if my ears are covered, then you don't know what kind of ears I have. All right, last game, everybody. Let's make this one count. Since you asked the unknown, the short and simple answer is some speculate that it's a malevolent entity conjured long ago by an ancient cult. Others believe it to be an alien that escaped from Area 51. There are those that say it thrives in darkness, stealing voices of its prey and luring people to their doom. So it's like a, it's like a skinwalker. Ooh. That's also how they describe me. <laughs> this isn't a wig. This is, these are my ears. I don't wear fake ears. These are my ears. What's that humming sound? What are we playing against? What's that humming sound? I know she can shoot stuff. I know she can shoot stuff. Oh my god. This is very scary. Girl, I'm giving chase scene. Oh. I read that just as I was down, Pommy. I was really feeling it too. I love that Liz got into this game and I just clocked that Liz has the Leon Kennedy costume. Get away from me, Liz. The hunch just wants me. I'm her prey. <laughs> the unintentional girl. That's just that's just me. It's, I call it streamer brain. Like. I gotta find a generator, girl. This is embarrassing. I literally have a toolkit and I haven't even used it. Let's go upstairs, girl. So the lullaby, I still don't know how lullabies work. Oh my 
god, no! <laughs> Let me go. The hunch just really freaks me out. Hi, Robbie. works almost as an extended terror radius. Okay, I see. The damsel is letting the girl have it. Okay, damsel. <gasps> damsel, no. They got damsel. They got damsel. <laughs> Hi, Vi. Vi, welcome to the chat. <laughs> Girl. It is a massacre. Heads will roll. You were too late. Please, you have to live on for me. Let's watch Damsel, because Damsel's really letting him have it. Damsel's gonna go save Leon Kennedy. Girl. Oh, Damsel said, let me do the generator, actually. How do you get there? Oh, see, I've done this map like I think five times now, and now I'm starting to see what it is. Like, the map will open up if the, if the killer lets it, but it actually works against the survivors if you don't break down those doors in this map. This meat locker is also kind of good for um, looping, I would say. I'm just guessing. Oh, it can be disorienting as a survivor on this map. To like focus on one generator, you have to really remember where you were. Okay, Dample's working on a generator. Let's see what Liz is up to. All right, Orlock's the killer. This is the first time we've seen Orlock. So what what were the ones that really stood out to me? Like Orlock's doing really good. Who was the one that, oh, no, no, no. It wasn't the dredge. Who was it? I think it was Dylan's killer play that really got scary. Oh, it was the, the Freddy. The Freddy was a really good one, too. You guys have to go. Huntress is really freaky. Damsel's almost got this generator. I think the Huntress is going after Maude. 
Orlock is. Uh oh. Dan's didn't even get the generator. Hatsumiku, run! Oh, damsel. That's damsel's second hook, I think. Yeah. I think the moth is going to go save damsel. Her hair is freaking out. <laughs> oh no, save damsel, save damsel. You have to save damsel. It's gonna kill damsel, you have to save damsel. Liz is about to get the, the third generator. Another one, thank you. Oh. Let's see who the hatch baby is. I don't know. I think Moth is doing some pretty good play too. If Moth can manage, uh oh. Moth still has one more hook, though. Don't sleep on Liz. Don't sleep on Liz. Get your sister off the hook. cinematic end we always have a good cinematic end to the to the the DVD that was that was pretty cool or I've never played a huntress game yeah that was the last game that was the last game GG everybody thank you so much for playing um, listen to some music all right let's say bye to youtube again bye youtube i hope you all enjoyed today's dvd um tomorrow we're probably gonna do the same um same schedule i love looping on stress it's scary because she has that range the plague is the same way anyway bye youtube thank you so much welcome to the chat tim bye youtube